going on guys tyson anderson <laughs> mr hammerdown listen guys so who we have here today is anderson's baba chief um this male is going to be three years old next month he's going to be by the late field champion birch lake pretty boy two and our very own anderson's pretty girl rock pretty boy two is going to be our field champion birch lake jumper and uh, field champion, Burst Lake Diamond. Okay. Uh, his mother, Penny, is going to be off of near field champion, Eagle Creek, Otruba Collins. Uh, he's a line bred Grampy dog. He's about 51, 52% Woodstock Grampy. And his mother's uh, mother is going to be Anderson Southern Pride, which was the Pierce and is the Pierce uh, international field champion, Taylor Socket to be female today, male or female today. She's the Pierce dog. She's over 46% uh, socket to me, almost a daughter, daughter okay? Um, this male, I started him. I've got four or five videos on him. I started him as a puppy. Uh, he was sold uh, in the Midwest. The guy said, look, I'm not able to put the kind of time in him I need to. Uh, I got some things going on health-wise, family-wise, such and such. Uh, if you want him, Tyson, you can get him back. I got the dog back. Um, I then seen that he was a little smaller than what I liked. He, he looks actually way bigger than he really is in person. He's about 14, 14 and a half. Um, uh, but I, I got his brother, uh, Anderson's Black Bart, and I just, you know, there's no need for me to have two of these males. I feel like the one, the male I have of the litter is the nicest of the of all of them, male or female. And so uh, I don't need him. I actually despise males unless, you know, they're just really freak of natures. And I'm not going to say that Chief is that. Chief had really good hunt when he left. He had a good nose. He had a big, loud mouth. He was clean. Um, I bumped him on deer, I think, once or twice. I didn't have him touch it again. The guy I sold him to, he'd had him touch it once or twice. Bumped him off of there. He's fully aware of what a collar is. Uh, you don't have to handle a collar with this dog. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, the problem is this dog has not ran in almost a year to maybe over a year. So he's picked up some very unnecessary weight. Um, he started to regress, meaning to go backwards, I would believe, not as far as loose mouth, this and that, so forth. Where is that hunt is like lazy almost, that initial, because he's been out of the loop so long. But when he smells a rabbit, he's all in. And, you know, he needs to run right now with a pack of probably strong medium to very, very flat medium speed, dog, uh, medium fast uh, dogs. But very strong medium uh, to flat medium fast dogs to really get that weight off of him. I think he would make somebody a good stud dog, uh, just not that of myself. Right now, I'm pressing price to him pretty aggressively. Uh, he's going to be priced under $750. I'm not going to say the exact number, but he's going to be priced under $750. Uh, if you're interested, uh, you guys know my number, 252-481-3014. Shoot me a text, uh, leave me a voicemail, email me, andersonsbeagles2010 at gmail.com. Again, that number is 252-481-3014, or you can get me uh, email, andersonspeagles2010 at gmail.com. Listen, guys, we charge anywhere from 300 to 500 per uh, per month per dog for training. Depends on what you want done. Uh, what I would do with him as far as just assessing him and then finishing him out as far as fundamentally, uh, it would be $500 a month. So if I don't sell him now under the 750 he will be sold for $1,500 if I keep him for the next 60 days and, and really lean him out, rock hard him, and, and bring him back up to a very good par. Okay? So you can get him under $750 right now. I'm not going to say the exact price. Just know between $500 and $650. That's a giveaway price for a direct son of field champion Burst Lake Pretty Boy 2. Well, Anderson, he's not blistering fast. He's not trial material. He's not this. He's not that. That's for you to do. That's why I'm letting him go at puppy price. If I keep him two more months, he will be $1,500. Moving on. Last but certainly not least, Anderson's Big Hollow Buster. This brood of a male is 13 months old and 13 months old only. Just turned that. Uh, the dog's probably been ran, I think he said, five or six times total. Uh, he's had a collar put on him before me. 
Uh, he was started, I think he said, nine, ten months old. Dog doesn't know a whole lot of anything, but he's just got a natural, natural, uh, extreme prey drive. I think this dog is going to be really something else. Guys will say, well, why don't you keep him, Tyson? I don't run Dexter's stuff. God bless Mr. Ref, and I appreciate what he's done for the sport of beagling, but where I'm going and how I'm trying to go in that di in, in the direction I'm trying to go in, I'm set on rails, and I don't want to go off. Uh, I'm not kennel blind, but what I need, my stuff gives me what this dog is. So uh, I don't feel like I need him. Um, I, I was able to obtain him or acquire him in the package deal of purchasing my uh, female, his mother, back. Uh, Anderson's pretty good rock. And so for that reason, he's here. Okay, 13 months old, he's an adolescent, doesn't have a lot of experience at all. Uh, right now, he will be priced, and you guys know I don't do this, but I'm saying it to you now just to let you know so you don't have to be worrying and, oh, I want to call him and, and see, but I don't know, man. Maybe he's out of my range. He may be. He may not be. He's $1,000 right now, as is, okay? That's, again, a puppy price. The dog is running. He's got good hunt. He's got good foot. He's got a big mouth. He's got a good nose. He looks amazing. Um, he's going to be a full 15-inch dog. Uh, the dog needs to be socialized. He needs, uh, I'd say, 60 to 90 days of, of hard, just thorough punishing, okay? If I did that, he would move from $1,000 to $2,500, uh, uh, in, into the hunting season. Okay. Our hunting season here in North Carolina starts around October 17th. Um, so if, uh, it, it, with it being, uh, the first of August, uh, if I kept him three months, August, September, October, November, okay. I would probably part with him around December to January 2nd, which is the end of deer season. If I did that, he will be $2,500. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I know potential when I see it. And when you turn a dog loose that's been only on the ground maybe five times max, uh, and he's able to run like he's running, y'all can say what you want. Uh, I know what this dog is going to be, okay? Uh, he'll be $2,500 if I keep him for three more months, three to five more months. Again, we charge $300 to $500 per dog. Uh, the amount of effort, time, blood, sweat, and tears I'm going to have to sacrifice over into this male to make him what I really want him to be, to be turnkey and just absolute dynamite, he will be $2,500. As is, he will be $1,000. He is on UKC papers right now. Uh, we're waiting on little pack papers to come back. He can be registered AKC. Okay, Chief is already on AKC papers. Um, I think puppy papers right now. I didn't. I really didn't. I don't. I don't send papers off on dogs unless they fully, fully validate and solidify their worth here under my thumb. Um, I'm not saying he's not worth it. What I am saying is he's not worth to me being a standardized stud dog that's going to carry my breeding on for years and years and years. And I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Chief, his half brother. Uh, so that's why he's available. So Chief is available for 500 bucks, uh, if, if he as he is right now. Uh, if I keep him for two more months, he'll be 1500. Uh, this male is priced aggressively, I believe, at a thousand dollars which is a great price. You take this male along, you do them how you want to do them, treat them like a puppy, X, Y, and Z. Uh, if I keep him for three more months, that's right, 500, 500, 500, he will be a $2,500 dog, but I can I guarantee you this, you can just about bring any dog you want to at the end of that three-month period from now, and uh, I, I'm going to tell you just like this, I don't think he's going to have to hold his head low, or you. So uh, if you guys are interested, 252 481 3014. You can email me also at Anderson's Beagles 2010 at gmail.com. Uh, Over and out. I was driving through Georgia in late July on a day high.